Hello friends, today I am going to make this um, sweet tamarind chutney which is very useful with, in month of Ramadan you can use it with as a chutney with samosas and pakoras and other things you can put it or pour it on the hibaras and etc. For this I have uh, put some tamarind, wet tamarind in water and soaked it for about 30 minutes. It's, it's going to look like this. There are no seeds in there. Even if there, there are any seeds, don't worry about it. So I'm going to strain it in a strainer, in a saucepan. So I'm going to cook this. So I want to get it off this, these seeds and their shell. So I'm going to Okay, now you can see that I've rinsed the whole wet tamarind now and you can see the sauce in the saucepan. I've switched on the flame now. It's very quick and easy recipe. It will take only 10 minutes soaking and cooking. So this is done. All the pulp is here now. Now I'm going to add few things in it. First of all I'm going to add some 1 teaspoon of chili flakes it's it's according to your taste i'm putting about two teaspoon of chili flakes right. and now i'm adding one pinch of black salt which is called kala namak two this is about half teaspoon of um, ginger powder and about about one teaspoon of salt and I'm going to put some brown sugar one two because it's a sweet chutney so I'm going to add about four teaspoon of brown sugar in it that's it you can see it's already quite thick now Just taste it just to see if it's sweet or not. Yeah, I think it's quite sweet. So if you want to add more brown sugar, you can add more brown sugar. And if you think it's very, very not thick enough, then you can add a little bit of corn flour in it. Just just one or two teaspoons of corn flour in it. Mix it. You don't have to cook it for a long time. Mix it well until it's bubbling now you can see it's bubbling so it's ready now I'm going to just pour it in a bowl just to show you how it looks you can keep this for days in the fridge and you can use it after every loser Thank you very much.